Hey, Wendy here. Just wanted to do a quick video. Kind of show the skies while I'm driving and just kind of... <laughs> okay, so I got some sun today. Got some exercise today. I do every day that, um, well, get, as far as sun goes, that depends on the weather. It has been pretty nice here in upstate South Carolina. Um, well... This morning it was it was chemtrails everywhere. Um, then it kind of cleared away, and now they're kind of back. But for the most part, it's been a nice day. So I have been thinking about protest, and I wanted to throw this out there. Like I think it's great that we do videos. But I'm just wondering if we can do more. Like, start up a group, you know? Because these people have their groups, and they do things behind the scenes. But I don't want to do things behind the scene. I want to get out in public. Now, as far as doing a protest, because we think this is going to change the congressmen and women, um, or, you know, whatever, no. I, it's all um, selection. I don't believe for one second that we are um, actually represented, ever have been, or ever will be, by the President of the United States all the way down. But, in my opinion, I believe it could be good as far as helping others who are not awake, or the few that are awake, grow in numbers. And, you know, get to know one another and stuff, and, and just have events, and and. and hold signs up and educate people not behind a computer or for me not to behind a, a smartphone I don't have a computer don't want one <clears throat> but um there's you know there's a lot of people that need woke up um, as you all know and I'm just I'm just wondering you know I don't I don't have all the answers I'm just wondering if it wouldn't be worth it you know um, anyway there's so much going on and, and everything is being used as a weapon against us. From the air we breathe, to the food we drink, to the water we drink, and it's getting worse and worse, you know, and uh, we've got this, um, they're gonna, they're gonna try to bring in forced vaccinations, thanks Bill Gates, uh, Kill Gates, that's what his name is. Uh, it's despicable how these people can just bring in their agendas and plan but, you know, it's also despicable that people refuse to think. I'm sorry, but that's criminal. At some point, it's criminal. These people couldn't do what they're doing to us if people would think. I used to watch TV not that much. In fact, I've very seldom watched TV. I, I've never been a big TV person, but I have been indoctrinated. I did go to to public schools. I also went to a technical school. Then I went to uh, Furman University. <laughs> Not only did I, I work at Furman University for 14 years, and I also graduated from Furman University. So I know all about it, okay? And I work with people who couldn't wipe their own butts. So I know, and, and, and trying to talk to these people, <laughs> you know, but but I just feel like it, it would be worth it. Um, to get out and, and try to wake others up and also let people see how we feel. Because I'm, I don't, when I go out in public, I don't have a mask, nor am I going to get a mask. I, I don't care what they say. I haven't been to a place that said you can't come in unless you have a mask on. But I can tell you this much I will not go to a place here or even after this COVID-19, which is a hoax, which is is no more than the flu, and we've never shut the country down over a flu before, um, I, I'm not going to wear a mask. So if they don't want me in their store, if that happens, I will remember them, and I will not go to them in the future, because um, I'm not going to be told what, what to do. You want to wear a mask? Wear a mask. I'm not going to wear a mask. 
I'm not going to get a vaccination. I don't believe in vaccines. In fact, I have not been vaccinated since I was a minor and I didn't have a say so. Since I've been of age, I have not had any shots, nor am I going to have any shots. I do not believe in them. I have been against them long before I was even educated on the shots, right, and vaccinations. Long before. I just, I, I've never liked needles, and I've always been kind of like a rebel, too. I don't like to be told what to do. Um, and, as, you know, I, oh, my God. People are driving around with masks on. Okay. Anyway, so I just, um, and, and I've, as crazy as it sounds, even though I didn't know the agendas and didn't really, wasn't really awake growing up, I never, I never understood why people were so just, like my dad and my mom, for instance, when the news was on, okay, you, you've got to be, you've got to, you've got to learn what's going on and, and you got to, you, you got to watch, TV. you mean you're not keeping up with what's going on? Okay, I, I didn't know, but my parents were, well, my, my dad passed away in 2017. My mom's still alive, but my dad didn't have a clue, and he was in the military, in the Army. My mom is still alive. She watches more TV. She watches all these killing shows. Um, she, she doesn't have a clue. I try to share stuff with her, and, and I think... I think for the most part she listens to me, but I think she she thinks I'm crazy. Um, and our relationship isn't too good. Well, that's a whole other issue. But anyway, um, I don't. My circle is very small. So as far as like organizing these, getting back to the you know protests and stuff like that, I'd be interested. Like I'm in the upstate South Carolina. I think it would be good if we had representation. People. Um, in upstate South Carolina, in the, in the Midlands, and in the Low Country. And I, I think it would be helpful if we had this in every state. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good way to, to meet people who think the same way and, and believe the same way. Maybe not everything, but for the most part, we are awake and know the truth and know what is being done to us which is more than we can say for the majority of the population. That's why this continues to be done to us. Um, but anyway, so I, I'm just throwing that out there. I, I realize that we are not represented, but I'm talking about for other people to help wake them up, um, going to where there's large crowds or, you know, going shopping and staying in whatever. Um, I just think it would be, I think it would be worth it. I don't think that we have anything to lose if we want to wake people up. So I'm interested, um, but I, I don't want to go do it by myself. And literally, I have nobody who is awake in my family. Um, I have, uh, yeah, so I don't have anybody near me <laughs> that could do this. So y'all know anybody or if you're interested and you're in this area let me know I would I would definitely be I, I, I would definitely want to do it um, protest and and to meet meet people I, th I think that would be good especially since you know I don't know how y'all are but as far as I am my circle has always been pretty small and it's gotten a lot smaller since I don't, I just can't tolerate people, and this is including my family. Like, I've, I've always been pretty much the black sheep in the family, but this is pretty much, yeah, this is pretty much done it for me. So, um, that's fine. That way I don't have to deal with them. I believe I have a better chance of reaching other people. You know, and I, so I, I'm just throwing this out there. But anyway, look at the clouds, boy. It's been a nice day. Started off here in upstate South Carolina with like a bunch of chemtrails this morning, very cloudy. And then it got up to, uh, well, early this afternoon, about lunchtime, I say, sometime around there, they started um, clearing out and it turned out to be a, a nice day. Minus all this, I mean, I don't see how people can look at 
at the clouds and not notice, but I've literally asked my mom when I've been driving and stuff, and my mom, okay, <laughs> she's old enough to know better. If I can remember back as a child growing up, playing outside, riding horses, uh, water skiing on Lake Hartwell, and all the different things that I did, which basically we lived outside, and we had the white puffy clouds, how come she doesn't see this? How come she doesn't see this? She's 35 years older, 35, 36 years older than me. She should see this, that it's not normal. She doesn't. I've even asked her and I've pointed it out. She's like, Wendy, I don't, I don't, I can't tell. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't, I mean, she has a very good memory too. So I'm not sure, but I think her fault, I think her problem is, and I mean this in the nicest way as I can put it, that's my mom. She watches way too much TV, and she is completely, she, she's sheeple, she's sheeple. And she goes to a Methodist, big Methodist church in Greenville, South Carolina, and um, let's just say she is, wow, I'm disappointed in my mom. But I'm praying for her and anyway. So I just wanted to show the skies and throw that out there that I would totally be into, you know, getting together with some people and organizing like some protest and stuff. And so I haven't seen South Carolina on the news at all. Of course, I don't watch the news. I don't even watch regular TV. I don't even have regular TV in my house. But I can see things from YouTube and what other people share. But I haven't seen anything about South Carolina being on the news for uh, protest. That doesn't surprise me at all. But we need to do something. I believe every state needs to do something. If we continue to be quiet, and I'm not saying that it'll change anything, but never know if we don't do anything and we just you know share videos which I think is great but I just think we need more I think we need a lot more um, anyway so if anybody's interested hey let me know and um, I hope you all have a good rest of the day we need to continue to pray for all of these people who have been affected by these storms these man-made manufactured storms that they continue to create and all the devastation and destruction that it is causing is despicable and it makes me sick um it, it makes me sick that people don't wake up to it and it makes because this couldn't continue to be done to us if more people were awake if the majority of people were awake and weren't brainwashed indoctrinated asleep whatever this could not continue to be done to us. I, I don't believe it. But anyway, um, okay, well, I have said enough, and I hope you all have a good day, and we just need to continue to pray for all of us and continue to pray that more and more people wake up and continue to pray for the people who have been affected by um, the man-made uh, weather and um, big by everything that is being used against us, which is a lot. Okay, well, y'all have a great day, a good rest of the day, and a great weekend. Bye for now.